Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're looking at in this video is the options that we have for Unify for remote user VPN. So let's let's hop over. We're going to look at two devices. Uh, I don't have my USGs hooked up, so the UXG is going to serve as one of our platforms. And then we're going to look at a Unify OS console uh, integrated, right? The Unify Dream Router. Uh, the UXG allows us to have that external controller. So it's a little bit different. It runs Unify OS, but it's a little bit different. So let's just hop over and take a look. So here is our UXG running on a cloud key. And if we go over to settings and VPN, you're going to see here that we have our site to site stuff or we have uh, create a VPN server, enable it. Now, uh, the most uh, popular question I've seen recently on this is, hey, I see that this is L2TP, is it secure? And the answer is, yes, it is secure because it's L2TP encapsulated in IPsec. So it's not just L2TP, it's L2TP IPsec with a pre-shared key. So if you're running a USG3, a USG Pro, or a UXG, this is currently your option for remote user VPN. And I will tell you that they have done a huge overhaul on this and they, they make it so easy to create this. You don't have to, to, to know all the steps. It does everything right here now on this screen. Now you can go into manual and you can change, you know, the radius server that you authenticate against and all that stuff. And you can change the ciphers and the, the subnet and all that, or, you can just click enable and then click add a user and you're done. All you need to know is either the WAN IP or if you're using dynamic DNS, you got to know the fully qualified domain name and then you're done. It'll work. Uh, there's might be some window settings you need to change probably, but that's it. So like I said, this is your UXG, your USG three and your USG pro as of the filming of this video, which is June 20, 8th 2022 now if we hop over to the udr and this is going to be the same uh, as the udm the udm se uh, the udm pro the udr the unify uh, i don't I haven't gotten to, into a dream wall yet so i don't know um, but as of right now here's the difference then between the vpns on here and your uxg now uxg uh, if you've been reading, coming soon is Teleport. Uh, I don't know if that's going to come to the USGs. I kind of have to doubt it uh, because of the system resources, but it could. It could surprise me. But uh, right now, your other option for user VPN is Teleport, which is, you know, we just did a video on this last week. So take a look at that. It uses WireGuard under the hood. Super easy to set up. You send the link. If you've got Wi-Fi Man, you are you're done. And I am not running early access anything on here. And you can see Wi-Fi uh, man says it's available for Mac uh, OS. So, you know, that you'll, your mileage may vary, but uh, other than that, you have the exact same L2TP IPsec VPN. Those are your two options with Unify for now. What will the future bring? I don't know. Both of these are secure. Both of them, uh, you know, um, probably have their downfalls, L2TP. Uh, sometimes you have some NAT issues with that, with remote networks. The WireGuard is supposed to fix that. We know WireGuard or the Teleport works through double NAT. IPsec with a lot of configuration can work through double NAT. But these are both your options. They both are secure. They both work today. And if you've got any questions about configuring them, let me know down in the comments. And while you're at it, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel, all of our clearly marked affiliate links are down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.